In our top story this hour, the ShopRite group says it is removing all 400 grams of pilchards and tomato and chili sauce from its shelves. This follows a national recall of the product by the National Regulator for Compulsory Specifications. The regulator has ordered that all formal wholesalers, retailers and informal traders remove the product with immediate effect. ShopRite says it's implemented a block at till points which stops the sale of uh, the affected products to customers. It has also urged the customers to return any recalled products for a refund. Meanwhile, the National Regulator for Compulsory Specifications, NRCS, says there's been no reported fatalities following the national recall over the 400 gram pilchards in tomato and chili sauce cans. General Manager for Food and Associated Industries at NRCS, Macy Gertz, joins us now on the line for more on this. Good afternoon to you, Macy. Thank you so much for joining us here on SA Today. Maybe let's just start by uh, getting you to break this down for us and bring it down to our understanding. What actually happened here? What is the problem? Good afternoon to you. So, so the main problem that we have is we have found a deficiency with some of the cans products that has been manufactured by the processor or the manufacturer called West Point Processors. And this deficiency is really on the specific uh, product with a specific marking. And the specific marking starting with ZSC29 and ZSC29. To nine. The deficiency uh, on, it, on, on, on its effect is mainly just where the can has been compromised during the sourcing step of the production line, and therefore this could um, this could result into some risk that could be transferred to the consumer in terms of food safety. Oh, all right. So you talk about cans that have been compromised. Were they mm. damaged? So in, 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 in this regard or in this specific um, deficiency, what happened is the can has been, um, has been, during that filling process, a microscopic deformation inside the can was caused by the filler, by the filler while we were filling the can. So then inside the can, they were damaged, and therefore that process is re resulting into the leakage of that um, of the product as time goes on. So it's not a, a defect that could be picked up immediately. Oh yeah, because I wanted to ask if uh, this was uh, an immediate or a long-term effect. But then let, let's also talk about what could happen if somebody was to eat uh, uh, pilchards from these contaminated teams. So. So just to clarify also, the food on its own is not contaminated. The biggest problem is the container, which is the can that has been compromised, and this container could then cause a risk in terms of the product, which could result or make the product unfit for human consumption, and that could expose the consumer to a possible food poisoning. So in essence, the recall is a proactive step by the regulator, to say we are recalling these products because these can could be compromised. Mm. We've also had ShopRite group saying that it's implemented what they call a block at teal points, which uh, means that uh, they literally stop in the sale of all affected products uh, to customers. But we know that we have uh, consumers who have already bought those uh, products. We have them now at home. H how do they ensure their safety and how to, uh, uh, will they be able to identify uh, these contaminated cans from just by looking at them? Not okay. yet. So let me just clarify. So these products or the manufacturer didn't produce these products only for ShopRite. There are various wholesalers and retailers that could be selling these products. The key thing of identifying this product is mainly the brand. And then from the brand, it's the marking. If I could mention the brands that are affected or that we have already identified all the brands that have been affected, mm. it's Deep Cash, it's Mamas, it's OK House Brands, it's Prime Ocean, it's Fast Honey, it's ShopRite for Right Brands, it's Cape Point, it's Checkers House Brands, it's U Brand, it's Salvana, and it's West Point. And the product in terms of the marking on top of the king. The, the code 
that is starting with ZSC29. The other code is starting with ZSC29. Those two codes are the affected cases. I would like to put all 10 pill charts that are being recalled. It's those specific brands with those specific codes that could be affected. Mm. That but, being recalled. All right, but do you have the exact amount of those that have, that have to be recalled? So in terms of the production, yeah. we do have the amount that we are trying to reconcile and make sure that it is a correct amount, and that's what we're working on at this stage, to make sure that this is the amount before we could hand it over. All right, so without this uh, recall, are we likely to see uh, a similar situation to what happened uh, during the listeriosis outbreak, maybe? So, so this is this is a this is a precautionary recall as I've indicated before. So at this stage, there are no fatalities that has been reported, and there are no food poisoning incidents that has been reported. This is a precautionary regulator to say there could be a problem. There is a problem, and it could affect some of the cans. Therefore, before anything happens, we're recalling this this product. All right, Macy, thank you so much for talking to us. I'm Macy Gatz. Um, she's from the National Regulator for Compulsory Specifications.